five part part is week two, a continuation of our lecture quiz. Okay, um, teacher Ijoma. Um, remember we the, we look we be able to solve for addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I remember we talked about what metric weight is, right? It said it's how heavy, uh, rather weight means how heavy or how light an object is. So talking about metric weight is a measurement of how heavy or how light an object is. Now remember we talked about the basic units of uh, metric weight where we made mention of our kilogram and our gram. So for heavy objects, we use our kilogram, light objects, we use gram, and that there are other units of metric weight. We made mention of our centigram, milligram, um, decigram, decagram, um, hectogram, and kilogram, and we are giving you the relationship between um, the various word pairs of um, units, right? Okay, so um, for this slide, I want you to refresh your memory with this. That one centigram will be giving us what? Sorry, um, 10 milligram will be giving us one centigram. And of course, 100 centigram is equivalent to one gram. And 1,000 gram is equivalent to one kilogram. Of course, 1,000 kilogram will be giving you one metric ton. Now, having this in mind, we can now solve, okay? Okay, so um, we have this example, and the first one says we are giving five and six, five centigram and six milligram, and we are using four to divide. Okay, so remember in division in capacity measure, we make some changes, right? Okay, the same thing is applicable in division in metric weights. Now, when we solve for our addition, subtraction, and our multiplication, remember we were giving our answers. What we are having as our answer were, were what? Our remainders, okay? So, what coming to division is we change. What we'll be putting down will be the whole number itself. Okay, so let's solve so you understand better. Now, 4 divided 5 will give you what? It should be giving you one remainder one. Now, if we were to be in the previous words, addition, subtraction, and multiplication, what you'll be writing down will be your remainder, right? But in this case, division, you'll be writing down your whole number. Okay, so what we'll be having there is our whole number one. And then we'll carry our word over. Now, what you're carrying over is one centigram. And remember, it's equivalent to 10 milligram, right? Okay, so what we'll be having is 10 plus 6. That is giving us 16. Now you divide with 4, is you have what? 4. Okay? So going over to the next one, we have 7 divided 9. We have 1, remember what? Remember 2. Now, 2 gram, we are changing to centigram. Remember, 1 gram will be giving you 100 centigram. So when you have 2, it simply means you're going to multiply 2 with. 100 to get 200 gram. Now you add to this, you have what? 284. Now you divide with your 7. Okay? Now 7 here, what? 7 here, 4. You still remember, and 7 here is 4, and 7 into 4 cannot go, so you replace, yeah, you have your 0. 0 remember what? 4. Okay? So remember we said the whole number stays. Why you carry your remainder, okay? So 4 is going to meet this. Now, your 1 CG gives you what? 10 milligrams. So when you have 4 centigrams, you'll be having 4 times 10. That is what? 14. Plus the 9 you have, so it will be giving you 49. What are we using to divide? 7, right? Okay, 49 divided by 7 will give you what? 7. So you put down your 7. Okay, so the next one we have 20 divided by 24, we have one remainder 4. Okay, so that 4 will be going over to meet the ground, right? I remember that 4 is your what? It's 4 kg, you're converting to ground, okay? So we will be having, remember 1 kg is equivalent to 1000 gram, right? So when we have 4 kg, it will be giving us 4 times 1,000 equals what? 4,000. Okay? So uh, already we have our 20, so you add 20 to it to get 4,020. 
Now you are dividing with 20, okay? So this will cancel this. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 20, and this 1. So we have a 201. Okay? Are we going to take it again? He said 20 divided 24 will give us 1 remainder 40. Sorry, 1 remainder 4. Okay? Now, we have 4 will be going over to ground, right? And remember that 4 is 4 kg. So you won't just come and put 4 here, okay? You convert your kg to gram. Now, 4 kg is equivalent to 4,000. I'll show you how you do that, right? 4 times 1,000. That will be giving you 4,000. Now, you add your 20 to be to get your 4,020. Now, you divide by 20. So, 0 and 2, 0, right? 2 get 1, 2 get 2, 2 get 0. And 2 divide 2 will be giving you what? 1. Okay? That is how we solve for our division. So, I will quickly give you some hints. Some hints that will guide you whenever you are converting a metric weight. Okay? Now, you will agree with me at the end of the day that they are similar to what I gave you in capacity. Okay? So, you find out the differences, you find out the similarities. Okay? Okay, let's solve. Now, the hints I want to give you is this. When you're converting from, converting from a higher unit, higher unit to, to lower unit, what will you do? Uh, you're converting from a higher unit to a lower unit, you multiply. Okay, now while converting from converting from a lower unit, a lower unit to a higher unit, you do what? You divide. Okay? Okay, so we are going to solve to find out if it's correct. So you understand why we are giving I'm giving it to you as a hint. Is applicable anytime, any day. Now, when you are converting from a higher unit to a lower unit, you multiply. And while converting from a lower unit to a higher unit, you do what you divide. Okay, now we take it step by step. When you are converting from kg, from kg to ton, what do you do? When you, while converting from ton to kg, what do you do? And while converting from centigram to gram, and from gram to centigram, okay? Okay, so while converting also from gram to kilogram, and from kilogram to gram, and milligram to centigram, centigram to milligram. Okay, so you'll agree with me that I pick this from here, okay? I already you have the relationships, okay? So we are going to look at them one after the other. So from kg to ton, remember 1000 kilograms will be giving you what? One metric ton. Okay, now kg and ton, which one is a higher unit? It's ton, right? And so, and kg is a lower unit, right? So we are converting from lower to higher. Okay, converting from lower to higher, we said we divide, okay? So what I'm going to use to divide, is it 1000, is it 100? Remember I taught you that whenever you have kilo, it denotes what? 1000. When you have cent, it denotes what? 100. And when you have milli, when you have milli, I told you 1000, depending on where you are converting it, what you are converting it to, okay? Like, like if you're converting from milligram to gram. Okay? So now we have the divide with what? 1000. Okay? Now, when you're converting from metric ton to kg, ton here is a higher unit, okay? So we are multiplying. You multiply, multiply with what? With 1000. And when you are converting from centigram to gram, the uh, 100 is involved, right? 
and in this case, which one is the higher unit of this one and this is the lower one, meaning that you are converting from a lower unit to a higher unit. And what do you do? You divide with 100 and this is higher to lower, you multiply, you multiply with 100, okay? And this is from gram to kilogram, from lower to higher, what do you say we do? You divide with what? Kilo is involved, so you're dividing with 1,000. Hope you're following. Okay, we're dividing it together, there's no magic about it. And while you're converting from kg to g, remember this is the higher unit, so you're converting from a higher to a lower unit, you're multiplying, okay? So you multiply, again, kilo is involved, so you're multiplying with 1,000, okay? Now, why, why converting from milligram to centigram? You still remember the relationship. 10 milligram is 1 centigram, meaning that this is the higher unit. You're converting from lower to higher. So what do you do? You divide. What are you dividing with? Okay? Remember the relationship there is 10, so you divide with 10, okay? Whereas this, you multiply with 10. Okay, now milligram and gram, because this is milli of this. If, if, when you have milliliter, you're converting from milliliter to liter. Remember, it's 1000 milliliter to liter. Converting from milligram to gram is still 1000 milligram to gram. Are you getting how we're getting them? Okay, so this one again, this is from a lower unit to a higher unit. Okay, so lower to higher, we have divide. So you divide, you divide with what? 1,000. Okay, so I, we are going to, we are going to solve one or two in conversion, okay? Okay, so we are going to convert this and we're starting with from a higher unit to a lower unit. Okay, now we have 2 kg to gram. Okay, remember, remember that 1 kg will give you 1,000 gram. So then 2 kg, you have 2 times 1,000. That will be giving you 2,000 gram. Okay? Now here we have 10 kg, 100 g. We are converting all to gram. Remember, this is already in gram, so we are not converting this. We need to convert this, the kg, to gram and add this to it, okay? So here we have 10 times 1,000, okay, plus this, all in gram, okay? So we have 10,000 plus 100 equals 10,100 grams, okay? So now, 9 metric ton to kilogram, remember, one ton will give us 1,000 kg. So 9 will give us 9 times 1,000. That is what? 9,000 kilograms. Okay? And uh, so right now we're going to convert from a lower unit to a higher word unit. Okay? Remember, I want you to observe that all true we did was multiplication because we are converting from a higher unit to a lower unit. Now, it will change coming to this part where we have to convert from a lower unit to a higher unit, okay? So, first we have this and you know that um, um, 1 kg will give you what? 1000 g, right? So, when we are having uh, 1 g, that will be 1 over 1000, right? In kg. That is to say that while converting this to kg, we are going to have 4320 times 1 times 1 over 1000. Are you seeing how I'm stating this? Now this will now give us 4 3, 2, 
this times one, anything multiplied before will give you this, right? And now your denominator comes here. So we are using shifting method again, right? And shifting method here, you are going to shift three times to the left. One, two, and three. So we have 4.320 kg. Okay? So changing this to tone, changing this to tone, we are dividing again, right? We are dividing again because we are changing from lower to a higher unit. So we simply have um, this 10,000 now, times so 1 over 1,000. So we have 10,000 over 1,000. This will take this, so that will give us 10 watts metric tools, okay? Okay, that is that for our conversion, okay? So I want you to look at it again. Again, um, is there any confusion? You can play the video again now. I'll give you this assignment for to attempt, okay? And uh, remember, we've looked at division. So at this point, I believe you can solve this. Now, for your conversion, you have this. Now, I also included the two work problems for you to solve. But I want to solve number eight. Okay, here it said how many 125 gram packets can one get from a bag of salt weighing this? Huh? What do you understand by that? It simply means that um, we are asking you for a bag of salt that the weight is 2 kg and then each of it, the weight is what? Uh, 125 grams. So we're asking you how many of such packets do we have in it? Okay, I'll give you another explanation with a carton of indomie or biscuit you have at home. Let's use a carton of indomie for instance. And what is a carton of indomie? The weight is what? 2 kg. And then mommy is asking you how many packets you have. And she tells you that each pack of indomie weighs what? 125 gram and she wants you to solve and tell her how many packets she's going to have in the carton of indomie all you need to do is to do what convert convert the total weight to what to the same units you have for each of the parts which is gram right and then you have kilogram Okay, when you do that, in a case whereby it's already given to you a gram, you just go ahead and you solve. You divide, right? Okay, but in this case, it's given to you a kilogram, so you need to convert it to gram before you divide, okay? Let me show you what to do. Okay, so um, each, the way is um, each biscuit. Okay, we have salt here, we are using that one packet, the weight is 125 gram, right? And now we are trying to find out how many packets, how many of such packets we have in 2 kg. So that is to say that for this, we are going to have for X packets, Solving for S packets, that means we are representing the number of packets with S, right? So you are going to have this, okay? And then I said you are going to convert your kg to g before you divide, okay? Now converting this to this, you are converting from a higher unit to a lower unit. So what do you do? You multiply, right? So you have 2 times 1000, okay? Which will give you 2000. Now you divide with one, two, five. Okay, so five here will give us two. Two remain at two. Okay, so five into twenty-five will give us five. Five here will give us four, right? Here zero zero. Five again will give us five. Five here will give us eight zero. Five here one. Five here one remain at three. And five into thirty will give you six. So that is to say that we have what, 16 packets, okay? So you apply this knowledge, you solve for this and you solve every other one, okay? So um, if there's any problem, any uh, unique clarifications, you can drop the question in the comment box section, okay? Thank
Thank you.